Yes, I'm live. How's it going, UX football kid X23? Great. So, what is with this chat right now? Let's pop out the chat. For some reason, YouTube made the chat like super small. I changed the streaming thing a bit since the last time I streamed on YouTube, which was a while ago. How's it going? But yeah, we're gonna be. I'm just gonna be going around doing like some Arkham Knight side missions. We'll talk about comics. And some good comics this week. A lot of good Batman comics this week. We had um, we had a new Detective Comics issue came out. We had the Warren Ellis. Batman comic that came out, which is pretty good besides the Alfred thing. The Alfred part was terrible. Okay. Hunting on my teeth. I don't even know how to upgrade. Who cares? Let's see. What mission should we do? Have I done to save the firefighters? Hmm. We do the Deathstroke missions. I need intel for the firefighters. Sir, a GCPD helicopter. This way. I was just reading um before I had to go. I didn't finish reading it yet, but Batman Universe, which is Bendis's Batman book, which I actually have heard good things about. But I only bought it because of one I heard good things about too. Jonah Hex is in the newest issue. How, he he wrote Hal Jordan like a complete idiot though. What the heck? I didn't hit. Like, Hal Jordan is written like an idiot. I didn't even pay attention to what I was supposed to be doing here. I have to rid their thing. Who cares about that? I didn't know I was rid their things a while ago. But yeah. Hey, Bendis, surprise, surprise, wrote Hal Jordan like a complete idiot. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Reported on one of the missing fire crew being held hostage in the Grand Avenue area. Oh. I'm afraid we don't have an exact location. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. Thanks for shooting at me, dude. Playing right now, cool. What's up? Do you protect 1013? Yeah, that, that, uh, that heat suit. I don't, I don't think he ever named what it was, but that heat suit that he went after Mr. Freeze with, badass. Adam, he needs to go see therapy. Like I thought your father like left you, not beat you. <laughs> Uh, let's see, was it? But yeah, Detective Comics. New issue, Detective Comics was great. Tomasi and um, Tomasi and Doug Mankey are like one of the greatest creative teams right now. Okay, we'll just beat some dudes up. I don't know where the heck this firefighter is. We'll just go do a different mission in the meantime. But I just want to fight some dudes. Let's go on Music Uni. But yeah, new issue, Detective Comics was sick. I like how um. Mr. Freeze is, he came back just to beat me. <laughs> That's rough, bro. But, uh, I really like how he's writing Mr. Freeze as like a legit villain, and it makes sense the reason why. Because a lot of, like, if you're used to the animated series of Mr. Freeze, he's not really a villain. He's more of a guy in, like, a bad circumstance. And this, he's being a lot more villainous. He's killing people, but the there's reason behind it. Like, he's doing it because he's so close to getting Nora back. It's like this whole, I'm so close to my end game that screw anything that gets in my way. No more Mr. Nice, Mr. Freeze. How's it going, Darren? Yeah, it's been a while. So I like that. Like, it makes sense. It's not just out of nowhere Mr. Freeze is just, like, super bad murderer, dude. It's because he's so close to getting Nora out that he's doing literally anything and not letting anyone get in his way. So Detective Comics is great right now. You hear about the new Arkham Game rumors? Yeah, I made a video about it. Uh, when those first came out like weeks ago. Let's see. We'll do the Deathstroke missions. Until you actually fight Deathstroke, the Deathstroke missions are fun. And then Deathstroke. Yeah, Tech Commons has been awesome under Tomasi. Man, Mankey. Mankey's art is so pretty. The artists they've got to fill in for him have been pretty good too, but it's like there's such a big difference between Mankey and everyone else that fills in on Detective Comics. Uh oh, there's a lot of turrets. The flourish does need to make a video again. Uh, 
Batman Universe because I was at a comic store. And it was there, like, uh. Yeah, I just picked up the newest issue of Batman Universe because Jonah Hex was in it, and I miss my boy. What's going on with Freeze? Yeah, so he's because, uh, eh? because of you're the villain. Um, so you're the villain. Lex Luthor goes to all the different people for people that don't know what you're the villain is. Lex Luthor is going to a bunch of different people and offering them stuff as long as they join him. Like when the time comes. So with Mr. Freeze, he like offered him something to where he'd be able to bring Nora back. But he still has, like, a process to go. He just gave him, like, one key to it. So, Freeze is going, like, kidnapping a bunch of women that are like uh, Nora. That he uh, had already, um, put Nora's DNA in them. Like, he he tainted their water supply to these specific houses to these women that look kind of like Nora. And he put the DNA in them. So, he's going to test it on them first to see if it'll work. But then the newest issue, he kind of got rushed. And now he just thawed Nora out. And so, he's, like, he's killing people and stuff. But it makes sense. It's not as, like... But I can only hack one bad as it might sound the previous drone will be back online I hope this dude doesn't spot me okay we good can I can I not destroy this thing secure area oh I have to get out win yeah, because it's all for Nora, though. So, it, like, it makes sense because he's, like, so close. Imagine if your wife had been locked up for I don't know how many years in this universe in the current continuity we're in. But it's been a damn long time, and he's getting so close. So, he's just, like, I wonder if Commissioner Gordon doing that. He hasn't killed any innocent people in yet, though. He only killed, like, his own henchmen. And he did not give a crap about killing his own henchmen. That's like the only people he's killed so far. He didn't kill the women that he kidnapped. He was just like experimenting on them. Will you join him, Flex or after your son? I hate the. So you're the villain. I'll do a video on, um, because the characterization of Lex is really stupid in it. That's the main thing that I hate. Because I like Watch Scott Snyder. And some of Year of the Villains kind of interesting. Like, the Justice League story itself is kind of interesting. But Lex is not... Lex would never do what he's doing in this. He spliced himself with Martian DNA. Lex is very much like a human supremacist type guy. Which is, like, he's never been a big fan of aliens. But he decides to just take Martian Manhunter's DNA. And then is also working for Perpetua. And is very much her little, like minion which lex would want and lex le unless lex double crosses her in the end this is very much not lex lex would never play second fiddle to someone else so i don't like that what do you think of house of x house of x has been great i'm hoping that hickman can keep this momentum with the with that uh, when the actual ongoing series comes out because house of x and powers of x has been awesome but it's gonna be hard to keep this going for an ongoing book i like that they made him a villain that you do something but he's still a villain yeah I really like what Tomasi's doing with Freeze is cool right now. How's it going, Walid? The only thing cool in nearly the film is William Cobb back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Although, he didn't really say how it, like, when he offered William Cobb some stuff, he didn't really say how he was gonna get Dick Grayson to, um. Okay, I need to. So I have those two turrets right there. So I'm trying to, like. Yeah, come over here and fight me, guys. Away from the turrets. <laughs> we play the Marvel's Midnight series in the future. Ah, uh, nah. I played it when I was a kid, like at my friend's house, and I tried to get back into it, but I don't really care for those games. And obviously, the new ones only on Switch. I'll play the what's it called though? Eh? How did I lose my combo? I never got hit. Maybe I got shot. But yeah, I'll play Marvel's Avengers when that comes out, though. Come here. These dudes need to stop trying to shoot me, bro. Ugh. Take you down. First episode that was great. Flex was nice. Yeah, I agree. Like, the first arc and then this, uh, the sixth dimension arc have been the best arcs in Justice League. And Snyder's Justice League, I mean. Ooh, I love that movie. X Force movie. I wish. I'm excited for X Force from Ben Percy and the Wolverine book from Ben Percy. 
Batman Damned. I have not read Batman Damned yet. I bought the second issue, like, when it came out, but I never got the first one, and I never bought it digitally, so, like, I have the second issue, but I've never read it, because I never read the first one, so I'm like, I'll probably read it. Thoughts on domestic violence. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Superman, you don't talk a lot about him. Because it's like, Batman is what people care about right now. I'll talk about Superman. Right now, I'm working also because Batman has a lot of really cool stuff going on to where everything with Superman going on right now sucks. I'm working on a video talking about Bendis and Superman. That's why I'm not talking about Superman right now. Because Bendis is ruining him right now, and I'm working on a video of it. But it's like it's not as simple as just playing Arkham Knight and like talking over it. Like, I'm going to go in-depth with it, with the Bendis video. It's going to be a lot different. That's why I'm not talking about Superman right now, because everything with Superman sucks. Like, Bendis has control of both his books. Detective Comics is really good from Batman. The new Warren Ellis issue was pretty good, besides the Alfred stuff. Um, Last Night on Earth is great. Like, there's a lot of cool Batman stuff going on. Doing really well. I feel like that's saying something somehow. It got on recommended. I have no clue how it got on recommended. But I got multiple comments saying, wow, I'm so glad YouTube recommended your video to me. me to I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool when YouTube actually, you know, decides to recommend some of my videos. And then my Red Hood hit off also. And that's why I started posting these types of videos again. How the hell do I make it over here without getting shot? Oh, there's this one up here. I didn't realize that. That's going to be a no for me, Richie. I'm sorry. About Red Hood. Red Hood, uh, his book sucks right now because the year of the villain and Scott Labdell still is writing it, so. Saying that it features Bloom, but they're hurt or something. What? Uh, no, it's, it has one, like, it has one black woman in the movie and she's just not a big part of it, so that's probably what that article was on about well, that you read. But the Joker, um, one shot was really good that just came out yesterday for Year of the Villain. I really enjoyed that. I just read that last night from John Carpenter. That was really good. What is his best? Shazam, Far From Home, or Joker? Um, probably Shazam. But they're all on the same level. I wouldn't say either of them. Are you going to do Joker spoiler talk? Probably not. I just don't have, like, the want to talk about Joker that much. Like, it wasn't... I like the movie, but it's not like, man, I really want to talk about this a lot. But I knew I'd get comments about it and stuff, and people had already asked me to talk about Joker, so that's why I did the one review. I hadn't done a review in, since Endgame. And before Endgame, I, I remember the last time I did one. Someone's lit a burning bat symbol on the Gamby store roof. The joke. Okay, Alter Bat. Let me know what you think about it, because the Joker one shot's really good. Like I, I really liked it. Talking about society, man. <laughs> that freaking. The whole time when he's run, every time he runs in that movie in his makeup, all I can think of in my head is the stupid I'm gonna say the N word meme. That's all I can think of. Like when I was watching that movie, I was trying not to laugh because he's like doing this dumbass run and he's got the Joker makeup and I'd seen 15 million memes of it and I'm watching the movie and I'm like, damn it, I can't, I can't take this part seriously. All I can think of is that. <laughs> I trust you have not <laughs> and every time he said society, like there's a part where he's like, I am a man who society has left behind. And I'm like, ah, oh, why do you have to say society? Now all I think of is all this other crap. From the ashes of Stupid Arnold memes about Joker. <laughs> that didn't ruin the movie for me, though. Just that part, like, it's funny. I can see that same fire in your eyes before this night is through. That you don't have any Batman comics? Well, there's some good Batman comics right, right now. What is the worst comic you have read? Um, single issue, I'm not sure. What Bendis is doing right now is terrible, but Superman Truth was like the worst thing to happen since I've been reading comics. Superman Truth was awful. Like, terrible. Superman shaved his head, decided to wear a t-shirt, and just started like cussing more to show how tough he was. And he got depowered. It was Me. awful. Superman Truth was terrible. Even Tomasi couldn't save that. When the time is right. You read any Marvel Hawks comics or not? Um, I yep. Yeah, Hawks and Pox, Heroes of House of X, Heroes of X, House of X, Powers of X, both really good. Um, what other Marvel series? Punisher just ended. I know a lot of people don't really care for Matthew Rosenberg. I haven't cared for a lot of his writing, but I enjoyed his Punisher run. It was fun. Like, he had a legitimately fun Punisher run, which is pretty cool. 
and it just ended. It was only 16 issues, but I liked it. It wasn't anything great. It wasn't like the best thing you've ever read, but it was good. I liked it. Bad Curse of the White Knight. Um, I'm going to be reading that in trade because I read the uh, the first one in trade. And so the second one, I'm like, I'll wait for trade. As much as it pains me to, I'm waiting you're for trade. Stronger than I thought. Signal me when you're ready to be challenged All again. right, Danny, sounds good. But yeah, I love Sean G Gordon Murphy, and I can't wait to read it once it comes out in trade. Sir, you still like playing this game? Um, work, since I hadn't played it in a while, it's nice coming back and, like, playing this stuff. Then am I to understand but I've played the crap out of the Arkham existence. games. This Flashpoint skin is sick, though. The red eyes and everything. I'll be sick. In touch. <laughs> since Joe couldn't rise up to say the game reward. <laughs> Makes sense. When was the last time you played Battlefront 2? When the update came out, I played it for, like, an hour, and then I was like, I still don't like this game. Thoughts of the Birds of Prey trailer? Terrible. I mean, it's good news for Suicide Squad, though, because Suicide Squad will no longer be the worst DCEU film. So there's that. Let's see if I can locate this firefighter. could do that. I'm no, on the road them. sucks. What do you think of CW Crisis? I don't care. Brandon Routh's, also, uh, Brandon Routh's Superman suit, though, is sick. I love that suit. I'm going to locate the Militia Watch Like, they did a really good job of making the Kingdom Come Superman suit. This is going to be in the CW Crisis. That's cool, I guess. This game for the guy, just like that. More to feed the Deathstroke, yeah. The funny thing is, like, since I've been doing, I've been playing the Arkham games again, I was flying around, I defeated, like, one of his things, and Deathstroke talks about how he's been tra honing his skills since the last time Batman beat him in Arkham Origins. It's like, honing his skills? You've been driving tanks around! We'll tackle Mansplain. Yeah, I saw that. So, so good. What was I trying to do again? We'll go back to Firefighter Sir, see if find Always cool about Perchway is when Chuck Nixon made that video. Yeah, that video was cool. Talking about the how that editor was the guy that actually like made the Birds of Prey team. That was cool. Talking about how who really did it and how he had to convince Chuck to do it. That was cool. Oh, he was there the whole time? I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> Well, that's really exciting. He's doing the same thing. Returning instrument. Yeah, I, I, his suit is so cool. He had the thing. Funny thing is, he went from having like the worst Superman suit with Superman Return suit to like one of the best with Kingdom Come. Cause his Superman Return suit was god awful, and obviously that's not his fault. But that suit was just terrible. Like that. Oh, the design for the S was so ugly. The suit itself is terrible. The colors were awful. Everything about the Superman Return suit is just not good. Season 1 or Season 2 of Spectacular Spider-Man? Both are great. Best t comic book TV show of all time. If you have not watched Spectacular Spider-Man, watch it. It's the best. Yeah, he does look way more like than he did in Returns. I've read them. Animals. You recommend that as reasonably they, priced? Um, you remember about they re they reprinted a uh, Marvel Wolfman's run for Deathstroke in trade, so just pick up. It's like I'm not sure what it's called because they they put multiple story arcs in like an ultimate trade. So like just Deathstroke Volume One from Marvel Wolfman, Deathstroke Volume Two. Like the bulls red on the return suit. If the colors didn't suck, it was just top five Deathstroke stories videos soon in the future. Uh, I don't have any plans to, but who knows? If you're Batman, the answer is the best comic cartoon. Second best, Spectacular Spider-Man is better. And that's coming from me, who's a bigger Batman fan than Spider-Man fan. But Spectacular Spider-Man is, like, perfect. It's just so good. I love Batman the Animated Series, don't get me wrong. But Spectacular Spider-Man's my favorite. And I'm not even that big of a Spider-Man fan. Like, I like Spider-Man, but he's definitely not my favorite. Pains on Destro cartoon Watch trailer. It was good. I have no clue why that's on CW Seed and not DC Universe. Why? That doesn't make any damn sense. Worst comic movie this year beside Dark Phoenix. What else came out this year? So we had Endgame, Shazam, Joker, Dark Phoenix. I forgot all about Dark Phoenix. Anything else? Blasphemy. I don't remember what I said that was blasphemy. I don't know what the worst. I I guess maybe the 
Spider-Man Homecoming, but Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't bad. I just didn't care about all oh, Batman the Animated Series. You still haven't watched Spectacular Spider- Adam, go watch it. Like, they have season one and two on a nice Blu-ray that you can buy. It's great. It's so good. I'd say Far From Home was probably like, outside of Dark Phoenix, probably the worst content movie of this year, but still not bad. It's just, I liked uh, Homecoming a lot better, and Far From Home was very okay. Because Dark Phoenix, was, the train sequence from Dark Phoenix was cool. Everything else sucked. That movie was terrible. But yeah, uh, Batman Animated Series is great, but Spectacular Spider-Man is better. It's, it's just the truth. I hate the one of the stupidest additions to this game was the chain gun enemies. Terrible. But yeah, I know a lot of people liked Far From Home. I did not like it. I just didn't think it was that great. For Batman the Man series episode? Uh, uh, everything with Bane was great, and I really loved... Let's hope no one's looking over here. And I really loved the, um, what's it called? The Joker Christmas episode. That one has a special place in my heart. And the one where... Um, I should target the soldier controlling the drone. Okay, Batman, shut up. And also the um, the one where everyone's telling their stories about how they almost took out. Actually, my favorite episode might be the one where the guy kills Batman and Joker goes crazy on him. The one where without Batman, life has no punchline. That's probably my favorite, actually. It's hard to say. There's a lot of great episodes in that show. I respect you, Batman. It's been too How'd that guy miss his shotgun shot? Oh! Woo. I can't remember. I just punched this guy in dodge, right? Yeah, that's all I do. St Why would you ever add this to stealth? You can't take him down stealthily. Heart of Ice is the best episode. A Heart of Ice is great. There's a lot of great episodes. Favorite is Superman the Event series. Oh my gosh, I hate it. <laughs> Voice acting was great. Everything else about that show. There were some good episodes. Dark Side was awesome in that show. There were some good episodes, but overall, I'm not a fan of Batman the Event series. They made Superman so weak and pathetic and such an idiot. Any episode featuring Superman and Batman was terrible. It's like, look how awesome Batman is, and look at what a loser Superman is. Besides the one episode where <laughs> Superman pretended to be Batman. That was the one time that, Bat that Superman was actually competent. Which goes to show, you know, what Bruce Timm thought. Of. I still remember that in my head, watching, like, the behind-the-scenes features of the Superman-Batman, like, animated movie they did. And they asked Bruce Timm about it, and he's like, Oh, man, I love Batman. He's always been my favorite. And he's like, and I worked on the Superman show. Like, when they asked him why he wanted to do this movie. He's like, I love Batman. He's always been my favorite. I grew up on Batman. He's like, and I worked on the Superman show, so... And it was like, oh, wow. This enthusiastic response for why he wanted to work on Batman. Why he wanted to work on Superman. Well, I've worked on him before, so... It was... I'm obviously paraphrasing. It's been years since I've watched that interview, but I remember that sticking out in my head. Like, oh, so Bruce Timm just hates Superman. Makes sense. Oh, we can do a Two-Face two mission. The best things are in there. Uh, Mark Miller tie-in comics. Oh, those were those were really good. I have that. Um, the actual tie-in comics are actually good. Not even just the Mark Miller ones. The other ones were actually pretty good too. But I had because that's why I started like reading when I first went to the comic shop for some of those because that's what was like familiar to me. Because like I remember my parents being like, "Don't get any violent comics." I was like, don't worry, I won't read Punisher. Then I did read Punisher. But I started out with Superman the Animated Series, like, tie-ins, along with a bunch of other stuff. I haven't read War of Jokes, and I plan on reading that. I liked War of Jokes and Reels besides the Deathstroke Deadshot conflict and the art. It's Michael Jannon or whatever, however you say his name. That guy is like a 3D model tracer type artist, and I do not like his art. I just don't. It's not terrible, but I don't like it, and he does, like... I think all the art for the book. And also, I hate the design for Riddler. Riddler with an open, unbuttoned shirt. Like, and then, like, it's just so weird. Favorite series at DC Rebirth? Uh, well, Superman. 
Superman was great from Tomasi and Gleason. Man of Steel is Protector of Spider-Man. One's a TV show, one's a movie. You can't really... Opinions on the Alex Milner I posted. Looked really good. Oh, the, oh God. Wish I got a gift for... Get while I'm on the big two. It's 22 stories of Finkel Island. But yeah, that trade was cool. I was glad they did that. The alarms. I'll hit them as hard as I can. Okay. I'll hurt them as hard as I can. Except for the fact that they still can hear you. Huh. Boom. Yeah, it's two. Maybe there's just someone who's new to comics. Uh, depends on the character you want, but just without going any characters at all, not knowing anything you're interested in. Woo! I would say that, uh, I'd say Superman American Alien's a good place to start. Batman Year One's a good place to start. What the hell? Gideon Falls is a comic that you don't even have to be into superheroes or anything like that, because it has nothing to do with it. It's a great comic going on right now. It all depends on, like, whenever people ask for comic recommendations. Because generally anyone looking into comics already has, like, um, like a hero that they're interested in from, like, the movies or something. So it's like you already have an idea. Like, you saw a movie or TV show or, like, I always thought this guy looked cool. Realm of Legends? Never heard of Realm of Legends. Uh, do you think next game will have to do with Court of Owls? Yes. Purely because of Scott Snyder's tweet. I think that's the main reason. Hi! I literally just got into Giddy Fall. It's great. I haven't seen horror like that in a long time. Yeah, it's so good. I think it's the prettiest book out right now. I, Andrea Sorrentino is so good, and Jeff Lemire. Like. I don't know, ever since issue 10 or so, it seems like Jeff Lemire has doing a lot more of letting the art speak for itself. Like, I noticed there's been a lot more, less words. Like, I'll pick up a Gideon Falls issue and I'm done with it in, like, seven minutes. Like, super fast. And that's still me, like, taking time to, like, enjoy the art. Because he's doing a lot of just, like, letting the art speak for itself instead of just, like, clutter, like Bendis speak or something like that. You know how Bendis will just clutter it with words that don't need to be there? Jeff Lemire has been doing the opposite of that. Gideon Falls is so good. It's such a pretty book. The story's interesting. It's it's great. We get it, you Reese. I Reese. Playing hero when you leave guys like me behind. That new issue comes out next Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. It's so good. I'm excited for uh, Lemire's question book. I'm hoping his Joker book's good. But from his interview, he didn't seem too hyped on his Joker book. It seemed like the Joker book was the price he had to pay to get the question book. Like when the question and uh, Joker Black Label books were announced, he was like super excited. Like, oh, I went back and read like this storyline for the question because I really like the question. This runs great. I really enjoyed this. The question's really cool. And then about Joker, he's like, yeah, I'm doing a Joker book. And that was kind of, he's like, I'm happy to work with Andreas Sorrentino again on a DC book. And that was like it. So it seems like, okay, he wanted to do a question book, but DC is like, in order to do a question book, we don't know how well it'll sell, but we know a Joker book will sell. So you gotta do a Joker book. The Joker 2019 movie mod, Batman Arkham Knight. Um, I saw the one Mr. Jag did like a while ago. Best action scene in Spider-Man movie besides Doc Ock? The Doc Ock one on the train is obviously the best. Second best would probably be the um, like hallucination type sequence from Far From Home. We'll be on Green Lantern Corps, I hope, because it'll be the first. That would be awesome. Eh. But he's... If Marvel's smart, they won't let him go. Oh, come on. Someone else get on this. I want to activate just one guy on it. Damn it. Oh. Two people? Come on, come on, someone else go on. Come on. Come on, medic. Medic, go down. Damn it, the medic doesn't want to go down. I didn't even know you could go right here. Okay, we gotta be extra stealthy.
take out the medic so he doesn't bring people back. He's not exclusive yet? Are you sure? He writes so many Marvel books. Well, he's been doing a good job. I'm waiting for that Venom collection to come out. I think it comes out like December or something. Because the like first trade's already out, I think. But there's like a collection that'll collect like more than just the first storyline. I'm waiting for that. Hey, Ed, come here. Happy birthday. The reason it took, oh, so, the reason it took so long is because it has your gamer tag on the back. Wait, what? It took longer to, for them to do the custom thing. What? Yeah. That's why. Otherwise, it's going to be here in time for your birthday. But. Are you streaming? What? Are you streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming right now. So I was like, what did oh I get? Oh my god, so sick! Yeah. Oh, it's awesome! That's it's a Team Liquid jersey, Captain America. I don't know if who's anyone wants to see the esports. Caden's right here. Caden's here. Caden is in top. Where's the one kid from New Jersey never shuts up? <laughs> Ty's not in here. Ty sucks. I want to Come here! Oh no, oh no. Am I good for I'm getting shot. What? Thanks, so that's awesome. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, Soundwave said happy birthday. Soundwave, he didn't talk either. <laughs> he said bruh about like once every two minutes. Thanks, Soundwave. <laughs> it's not every day you get to work on a dream project. This collaboration marks the birth of an incredible relationship. It is a true expression of passion. Oh, there's... In 20 years of competition, we've learned what it takes to achieve greatness. Now, we choose to be heroes. Team Liquid. Team Liquid. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, I'm happy birthday. So yeah, that was Ian's birthday was earlier this month, and I got him a custom Team Liquid jersey, and so that's why he's open right there. So I wasn't really paying attention. Ian is now 26. So it's Man of Steel versus Winter Soldier video. Um. His points about Man of Steel don't make sense at all. I was considering making a video on it, but then I was like, because I didn't see the video until like a year after it came out. And I was like, okay, it's no point in making a video on a year old video. Like he talks about how he's like, we don't even know what Superman likes. We see Superman playing with his dog. We see Superman drinking beer while watching baseball. That's three things at the very least we know he likes. We know he likes watching baseball. We know he likes drinking beer. We know he likes playing with his dog. We also know that he likes helping people and saving people because even in the movie, Lois Lane says, uh, you know, the only way for you to go away would be to stop helping people. And I don't think that's an option for you. Like, I just think High Top was one of those people that, like, didn't really care for the movie and was very much just like, I'm not really going to pay attention to what's going on. And so he didn't. But yeah, I watched that video and it was just. Kill me for what, Two Face? Huh? Okay, this time I won't die, I think. I have Wayne Tech upgrades, though. I can upgrade my Brat suit. Oh, melee armor. Dang it, I wanna. What can I upgrade? Grapple takedown now. Hmm. Okay, no, no, this is good. Watch Mr. 8. Dang, that's a long time. Who the heck is disrupting my. That guy is. He's all alone now. Man of Steel is great. I know a lot of people don't care for it, but I love Man of Steel. Now, but Bavi Superman, on the other hand, is just terrible. Screw you, dude. Stop trying to bring people back. Oh, he's looking. Bow. Screw you, medic man. Okay. Hello. Okay, you check for casual people. I still love watching Man of Steel. I watch it like at least once a year. That was easy. There ain't any other time, so what do you think? I see a few others. It's good. I bring him to you. 
Is that video was like the only two videos I didn't really care for were like that one. Then I watched like his I spent a something with Super. He's like I spent a night with Superman or something type video where you watch Superman. And he's talking about how that's the real Superman. The thing that was, the thing that was funny about the video was he goes I'm a big Superman fan. Here's just a few things I have lying around. He pulls out like two trades and then like. Bat Superman the Animated Series to show that he's a big Superman fan. It's like that's not just what he had lying around. That's all he has. <laughs> like he pulled out like two trades. Not to say you know that indicates how big of a fan you are. Don't and I have no problem with it. Just I giggled during that part of the video when he was just like, "Here's just the things I have lying around to show how big of a fan of Superman I am." It's like the entire series, of Superman the Animated Series, and two trades. Like, okay. This is who you are. Joker, Man of Steel, Alter Bat. I'm gonna ban you now. You ever play really story driven games like The Last of Us? I love story driven games. But not The Last of Us because that's on only on PlayStation. And also I don't really care for Naughty Dog games because they're very much story over gameplay. I like a mix of both. I don't like where the gameplay is very repetitive and not that great and the story is amazing. Yes, I'm gonna play Fallen Order. I can't wait. Stance, but I don't agree with his points. If that makes sense, yeah, I get what you're saying. I might have I'm similar in the same way. Oswald, justice never Grim Knight or Batman who laughs? I don't know. They're both really cool. We've gotten way more of the Batman who laughs. I think um, Grim Knight's more interesting though than the Batman who laughs. Like the whole concept of what if Joe Chill dropped his gun, Bruce Wayne picked it up and killed him, and that's where we skyrocket into the Grim Knight. I think that's a really cool concept. Of course, Batman Who Laughs is a cool concept of, you know, if he kills Joker and Joker t infects him and you get a combination. But I think Grim Knight's more interesting than Batman Who Laughs. I like both characters, but I think Grim Knight's more interesting. Let's go this way. Was a big mistake. Now you're just a her. man, Bruce. Her. Can't scare anyone. Any opinion on the new DC timeline? All I saw was that Wonder Woman came first. Because I saw the initial leak of it, like... But you had to, like, really squint to see it. And I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> Grim Knight reminds me of Flashpoint Batman. That's why I used him in my video talking about the Grim Knight. Because I'm like, it's the closest we have for a skin. Have you seen the Batman show? No, I stopped watching the CW shows a long time ago. CW shows, first two seasons of Arrow are good, first season of Flash is good, everything else sucks. <laughs> well, no, season, was it five of Arrow wasn't bad? I've seen Krypton, I've seen some clips on YouTube and it did not look that good. I know people like it, but. I think Rob Jackson, Batman, hope he does a good job. Hmm. I could do this. If I'm going to stop this, kid, I should analyze the body. I That's a Quicksilver. I never really got into Quicksilver. I mean, in what they did with him in um, first class was great, though. He got shafted in Dark Phoenix. That sucked. Missing Apocalypse is great too. Another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Is he better off than King Kong? Yeah, like, cool. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Uh -oh. Thoughts on Ace Watkins? That's that uh, gamer running for president, right? <laughs> I think that's who that is. I just see his tweets occasionally in my feed from like someone liking or retweeting it. This was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the I feel Blood like the, Six. the best origin comic movie that we've got is either Batman Begins or Iron Man 1. I like Iron Man 1 better as a movie, but as far as like an origin movie, I feel like it's either Iron Man 1 or as much as Man of Steel is my favorite comic movie, I feel like the best origin Remnants movie, either Iron Man 1 or Batman Begins. Spider-Man 1's good, but those two like were so good at like really establishing the characters. Please sure, not have a cool solo scene in Dark Phoenix. No, he did not. Joint line sclerosis he literally gets like thrown in one scene, and then he's out for the rest of the movie. 
Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin. Sucks. His part in Apocalypse was awesome. I'm not read Batman Dead yet. He was serving a 20 year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. Best superhero movie trilogy? Arkansas, Captain America. Because Dark Knight Return, I mean Dark Knight Return, Dark Knight Rises should have been so much better than it was. Ah, like, Captain America First Avengers, like, okay, it's not bad. Winter Soldier's great, Civil War is great. Batman Begins is really good. Dark Knight is like. My second favorite comic movie of all time. The Dark Knight Rises isn't bad, but it's like so disappointing. Like the first half of that movie is amazing. And then after he gets his back broken, just it pisses me off because it could have been so great. Like I love up until like after he gets his back broken. Everything up until then, so exciting. Pacing was perfect. Awesome. Bane is way different from the comics, but still like similar in the fact that he's smart and strong. Like, in terms of look and how he talks is different, but, and, like, how he carries himself is, like, similar to the comics, and then it's turned out that Bane is just Talia's lapdog, and he actually didn't really come up with anything, and Batman beats Bane, it's not even competitive in their second fight, which makes no sense, because Batman's weaker the second time, because he got his back broken, and it's just, like, ah, and then he gets shot. Yeah, I, I heard about Joker supposed to be in Rises. But man, they still could have done so good. You sound really young. Well, thank you. Nearly every comic movie truly has two good movies and one crappy movie. Yeah, we haven't had one that has like three great movies yet. But I'd say Captain America has the best trilogy so far. Because Dark Knight Rises wasn't as great as it should have been. Still not bad. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. But it should have been, it should have been up there with Dark Knight or even better. You tell Rise is like a last minute script. Yeah. Like, man, it could have. Oh. I really loved Catwoman in the movie, too, besides when she shot Bane. But Anne Hathaway, because I was not really into Anne Hathaway playing Catwoman, but then she did great. What am I looking for? I think do some man bat stuff. That tortured creature was once a man. And Batman that Returns. Batman Returns is the Batman v Superman to Batman 89. And what I mean by that is I've made, I've made this analogy a thousand times before. But with Batman 89, WB gave um, Tim Burton Batman. They're like, okay, make a Batman movie, but you got to do this, this, and that. You got to, you know, maybe do some stuff from this from the comics. This would be cool to see. Hey, you can't go crazy here. And then people loved it. It was a great movie. Like, Batman 89 is a classic. And then for Batman Returns, they're like, okay, dude, you made us so much money with Batman 89. The critics love it. The fans love it. Do whatever you want for Batman Returns. You're off the leash. And then he just sucks. And he goes overboard. I know a lot of people but love Batman Returns, but, like, Catwoman has nine lives. Batman's, like, constantly killing her. Penguin's just biting people's faces off. He's got flipper hands. It's so Burton. I don't like it. Same with, like, Man of Steel and Batman Superman. Man of Steel... I love Man of Steel. It's great. It seems like Nolan kind of held him on a leash a little bit for Snyder. And then they're like, okay, while it wasn't a massive success, fans liked it. And it made pretty good money. Like, Man of Steel didn't make pretty good money. And so they're like, okay, Batman Superman, do whatever you want, Zack Snyder. Do whatever you want. Get Chris Terrio, that Oscar winner, to help you write it. And then it just went terrible. And it was like, here's uh, such a bad movie. There's a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. Could you be able to come back to play any comic uh, in, in Bran Ralph? Comic I could assume it'd be great. I want. I, I just want Henry Cavill to stay, but I feel like he's never going to play Superman again. <laughs> Favorite Batman storyline of all time? Black Mirror. Danny Vio is great as the penguin, talking about how he wants to show a woman his French flipper <laughs> trick. <laughs> Ben Affleck that was okay. Yeah, Ben Affleck wasn't bad. Just Ben Affleck's heart wasn't in it. Like you could tell, he was not into playing Batman. He did a good job, but he was not in it. And I didn't really care for the characterization of his Batman either. Oh snap! I gotta do something here. I think. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm not paying attention. What am I supposed to do here? 
Damn it, guys. I have not done this mission in forever, and I don't get where I'm supposed to line stuff up at. We're just going to keep flipping around. Sorry, chat. I can't look at chat right now. I gotta... I haven't done this mission in so long. Something with the DNA strands, the yellow and the green. We're almost at 100%. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Aha! I did it! I've created a clean uh, Is Justly like good now to all you? Is is it movies weren't all terrible. The last two were good. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Aquaman. I know I was gonna say that, but we got like we went off the DCU tra um, topic fast. I was gonna agree with you there, Ash, when um when Wes was like, I didn't like Aquaman. You said you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Aquaman. I thought Aquaman was really good. Um, but then we like we talked about the DCU for like five minutes and never even got to me. And then we like switched on. Cause otherwise I was just gonna talk about like I really enjoyed Aquaman, but yeah, Aquaman's really good. I really like Man of Steel. I know a lot of people don't, but I really like Man of Steel. Shazam was good, didn't blow me away, but I liked it. Wonder, same with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was good, didn't blow me away, but I liked it. Batman Superman was terrible. Justice League was just an unfinished movie that should not have been released. Um, Suicide Squad is one of the worst movies I've ever seen, and I don't think I'm missing anything else. I don't think so. And Joker's not a part of the DCEU, so I'm not counting that. I do everything here I was supposed to do. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Honey, are you okay. Have you seen Good Time? If not, when will you? Good Time. Huh? So it was more like a direct after the new story. Me too. Like, it was. Uh, <laughs> I really wish they could have used Black Adam. Like, did I say Black Adam and not Black Adam? Black Adam. <laughs> I enjoyed the fights, though. I thought the fights in Man of Steel was, were great. I thought they were done really well. That Smallville site's still so cool. The A24 Robert Pattinson movie is that the uh, is that the movie already did or yeah we have the lighthouse movie he's doing now with Willem Dafoe I have not seen that movie I've not seen anything with Robert Pattinson in it I don't think ever I haven't seen Twilight and I don't think I've seen anything else he's been in we just need to fly around and find stuff Black Adam is just just Black Adam cosplay <laughs> Black Adam was awesome in that story, but still, like, the best part... The best part of that book is the best part of the movie as well, which is when Freddy and, uh... And Billy are hanging out when he first becomes Shazam. Like, that's the best part of the movie and the book, in my opinion. It's so much fun when they're both going around. When they, when they get beer, and he's like, why would anyone drink this? Like, they drink, like, one sip, and they're like, this is awful. Because I don't... Had a comic movie on like Black Adam before. Yeah, we almost had it with Sinestro since they're kind of similar, but then we never got Sinestro. Still mad about that. Mark Strong would have been awesome as Sinestro. Like, he did a great job in that terrible movie for the little bit he was in it. You shut your whore mouth, Sean Ross. Yeah, you better retract that. Better retract that message. <laughs> Do you have a mod to make him glide like that? No, this is just Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight, he flies like Superman. In Arkham City, he, you know, he, in Origins, he glides kind of normal. In this game, he's, it's like Superman. What's up, Red Panther? I've seen It Chapter 2, if so, what do you think? No, I did not watch either of the movies. I don't really care for the It's. Best horror movie of this year, though, involved an alligator. Surprisingly. Yeah, Mark Strong would have been great. And I'm a, so Guy Ritchie's my favorite director, so I've watched Mark Strong in a lot of different things, and he's great in, like, everything. Like, Mark Strong is great in everything he's in. Yeah, he does fight like Superman. He's in fighting like Superman since Arkham City, though. In the upcoming Superman by Tomasi. We're getting a Superman thing from Tomasi? What? What upcoming thing from Tomasi for Superman? Best movie of the year so far, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Saw it twice. Here. 
it was really <laughs> Guy Ritchie's my favorite. Did you did anyone see the trailer for The Gentleman? That's Guy Ritchie's new movie. It's it's him returning to his ro- roots. King Arthur was very much a low step in Guy Ritchie's career. King Arthur was not that great, but Gentleman is just a return to it. It's like a British crime movie, and it looks so good, and it's straight back to Guy Ritchie's roots. Snatch, by the way, this is one of my like most controversial opinions, is Snatch is better than Pulp Fiction. I'm sorry, but it is. Watch both movies. Sna- Love both movies. Snatch is better than Pulp Fiction, though. Uh-oh, that guy spotted me. And the Sherlock Holmes movies are like underrated masterpieces. I love A Game of Shadows so much. Uh, got the uh, John's can. Uh, yeah. Smash is smash smash snatch. I can't talk right now. Snatch is great. I have the cool the yellow steel book for it too. That's the best thing about when I switch from DVD to Blu-ray with steel books. Steel books are awesome. Ooh, can I get them all? Yeah, three for one. Let's go. Now the first shot comes okay, but the second sucked. What? What? No. First shot comes is really good. Second one is like one of my favorite movies of all time. How did this guy spot me? Oh no, it was a drone shooting me. I think. This snatched it snatch you watch as a he-man film it's just i felt like so with guy Ritchie movies i felt like most of them were always like character centric and i felt like uh king arthur was the least character centric one and that's why i felt like it wasn't as good like it always his movies always relied on like great characters that you really loved with really like snappy dialogue like really smart snappy dialogue but like king arthur didn't really have that i think that's what it suffered from a big part because like I love man from uncle man from uncle story there's nothing special about it but the characters are great like the story is a very bland like okay bad guy wants to do bad thing stop him but the characters are so good in uh, man from uncle like they're so much fun I have three chain gun guys I gotta take care of what the heck is this okay dude guess we're fighting Hope your chain gun buddies don't come over and light me up. Ah. Just gotta hit him 36 times. Lost him? I'm right here! This is rough. Favorite scene in any movie? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Back with Guy Ritchie's gonna be sick. Yes, he's in that that movie that they're gonna be doing after The Gentleman. I saw that announcement. It's like a remake of a French movie or something, or a German movie. I'm happy about that. That's another movie like Revolver is a Guy Ritchie movie that a lot of people have not seen. It was very confusing. I liked it though. When Jason Statham had long hair and a mustache. That scene with um. Mark Strong was great. When he saves that girl in Revolver, that part was so cool. I, knew I'd get another shot at you. I need to wait for this guy to go farther away. Otherwise, if I try to take him on, he'll come over like when I'm middle of my 36 combo and shoot the crap out of me. What best Batman game do you like? Arkham Asylum is my favorite Batman game. It's the first of the Arkham series and it's the best to me. I wish I could do a takedown here. It's so stupid that I can't. Hey, buddy. Oh, I could have hit. I just could have done the explosive ball. Please tell me your buddy's not coming over here to kill me. Oh, it only took 30 that time. Nope, nope, nope. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Okay. Yeah, the atmosphere in Asylum was great. Also, things weren't, like, overly complicated. And there's a lot more timing based in the combat. And you didn't have 15 million ways to take people out in stealth. Like, it was very much you had to go. go I hate Injustice Comics. To, all it does is kill off characters for no reason. Yeah, I don't like the Injustice Comic either. I agree. A lot of it is just an excuse to have different people beat up Superman and kill off characters in shocking ways. Like, I didn't care for the Justice Comic. And the art was very... Uh, uh, not the good... Boom. 
Russo's Marvel movie. And I like the Russo's. I haven't seen them do anything outside the Marvel movie, but they've elevated the Marvel movies a lot more than anyone else. I heard that they were like interested in doing X Men, but that's like the only thing they'd come back to Marvel for. Gotta get on this drone, yeah. Err. Err. Which is so Injustice is written by Tom Taylor, and I didn't really care for it. And he did a lot of dumb stuff with X Men, but Deceased is legitimately good. The art is not, but the the writing is like from Tom Taylor's is really good. And reading that, the one character I'll say that Tom Taylor really understands, it seems, at least has a hang of, is Green Arrow. I'd be down for Tom Taylor to bring Green Arrow back, since he doesn't have a solo series right now. Like, I, that's the one character that I'd be like, okay, who would you like Tom King to write? It'd be Green Arrow. I think he could do a good Green Arrow series. Hopefully, because I don't think he's the best writer, but I think he's good with Green Arrow. I hate the art in Black Mirror. I love Jock's art and the other guy. I don't remember the other guy's name that does like the flashbacks. Have you changed your fire alarm batteries? No. Yeah, Deathstroke was terrible in this game. New 52 movies? Yes, most of them are terrible. Which sucks because Flashpoint was good. <laughs> yes, yeah, this. I won't do spoilers for Deceased. Because you really need to read it, and the last issue had me sad. The last issue, legitimately, I was sad after reading it in a good way. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> like, the last issue, what happens in it, it's it's sad. Like, Deceased has been... I did not expect it to be good. I thought it was just going to be a gimmick, uh... I thought it was going to be a gimmick zombie book, but it's legitimately good. I wish they would have got a premier artist on it, though. See you, Tanya. Thanks for stopping by. The fights are just as like Bruce Tim, whoever is. He likes more ones to fight, and it gets annoying. Yep, I agree. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Man, I hope City Hall tries blowing us all to pieces. So, about Beyond Return of the Joker is my favorite animated comic movie. Just wait. It's your favorite comic movie, but it's overrated? Did you mean to say underrated? <laughs> well, Return of the Joker's good. Mark Hamill does a great performance in it. Gantt, Superman wins. Alpha vs. Superman, Alpha wins. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Which live action Batman actor had the best Batman voice? Well, obviously not Christian Bale's Batman. <laughs> Uh, Adam West, best live action Batman was. What do you think of Deathstroke Animated Series teaser? It was cool, it looks good. I don't get why it's on CWC. Put it on DC Universe. Don't make no sense. Have you been reading the current Batman Beyond comics? No, I almost picked it up because I don't know if he's still running it, but I know Dan Jurgens was writing it, and I love Dan Jurgens. So I almost picked it up, but. But the Bat Beyond just appeared at the end of the last issue of Justice League, so that's interesting. Talk about Chicken's best Batman. Oh my, that Bane skit in, uh, in Robot Chicken, the best. When he just comes in and breaks Batman's back, and any si Where the hell would that bat at? There he is. In any situation, they go, doot, 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 doot. That's Bane. That's the greatest thing. This bat that can actually fly flies slower than slower than me. I'm not watched something. Probably not gonna read the Fallen Order comics. Excited for the game though. Batman is the cash god, DC. He's their Spider-Man. I administered the antidote, but it wasn't enough. I need to track him down. Check what made you want to replay Arkham Knight? Um, because this is the same save file when I. Well, over that summer when I replayed all the Arkham games and streamed them all, this is that same save file because I never went and did the uh, side missions for that. So, I was like, you know what? I'll just do some side missions and talk about comics. Man, that is creepy in this game. He's terrifying at times. Let's play with some weird stuff is going on. I'm not sure how to feel about Okay. The only MC drivers to make consistently good movies? Yes, I would agree with that. But who knows? If Doctor Strange 2 is good, um... 
What's his name? The guy that directs that could be the next solid MCU director. Let's go to that island. Favorite comic series currently? Mm. It's probably between... So, it's obviously Doomsday Clock. But if we're taking out all of like the, um, if we're just going with ongoings and not like miniseries and stuff like that, because there's a lot of miniseries that like I'm really into right now, um, it'd be between like Detective Comics and Gideon Falls. Those are like my two favorite ongoings right now. Scott Derrickson, yeah. But Russo's are definitely the most consistent directors in the MCU. Not looking forward to Thor Love and Thunder at all. Um, that gonna be bad. Yeah, favorite run in comics like of all time. Um, well, Jeff John Superman run, so good. What he did with uh, Last Son of Krypton, Superman and Legion of Superheroes. He co-wrote uh, Up Up and Away with Kurt Busiek. He did so good. John Burns run Superman was fantastic. Um, for Claremont's run on X Men was so long and so great. Like Marvel Wolfman's run on New. Uh, New Teen Titans, like, Jeff Johns on Superman is my favorite, but like he didn't have like a super long run. He wrote a lot of different stories, but he didn't have a super long run. Just like, come on, let me disable you. Ugh. Superman has my favorite. Granted, I'm a Superman fan. He's my favorite, but I love Superman's. Uh, Superman's villains are severely underrated. Like, he has my favorite line of villains in comics. Rogue's Gallery. That was the word uh, words I was searching for. But I can understand. You know, everyone goes for Batman and Spider-Man because they have so many great villains, but I love Superman's villains. Brainiac, Lex Luthor, Mongol. He's got... So many good ones. Manchester Black, who's a newer-ish one. Sorry, it came in like the 2000s. Manchester Black's like really unique too. He's who I'd love to see in a Superman movie. I'd love to see Jude Law play Manchester Black in a Superman movie. I think that'd be awesome. So I didn't get collected like the Superman Batman Lightning Lad here. Yeah. I wish they would just do an overall like Jeff Johns collection for Superman, like they did for Green Lantern. Just do an omnibus, get them all. That'd be cool. His Bizarro World story was great as well. It's like severely underrated, where it's Superman well into his career still learning something from his dad, from Jonathan Kent. I love it. Uh. Did I'd be down to see the Russos make a Superman movie. The Flash reference. The Superman suit in the year so far from comics to films. In the year? What? Favorite Batman villain besides Joker? Riddler. And then third would probably be Bane. Problem is Bane hasn't. Bane's had that like sort of. Uh, it's very specific who can write Bane well. <laughs> Poor Bane. Now, he's such a cool character, but a lot of people like don't really get him. Can't believe everyone's running scared. That's a Spider-Man velocity. Don't know what that is. Da -da -da. What do you think of Jan Jurgen's Superman run? Uh, really good. He had a lot of good stuff. He did a lot of interesting things. <laughs> He did, like, back in, like, 90s and early 2000s, he did some, like, uh, he did some interesting things. Oh, I have that now. One of the missing fire crew is being held near Grand Avenue Station. I'm going to get him back. It's a lot of turrets. Multiple sentry gun placements have been detected. Oh, can I? Roads blocked. Turn oh. around. Hmm. Can I do a fear takedown from here? 
The drone sensors are temporarily disabled, eh. but I can only hack yes. one at a time. Yes! Oh wow, I used the force to bring him to me. That was interesting. Let's take all these guys down. Oh, Superman's just reef cert, man, that's not true. Yep, that's very... Agreed. That's why when people see, like, stuff in Man of Steel, they, and he's not acting like Christopher Reeve Superman, but in some instances more like comic Superman, people are like, That's not Christopher Reeve! What the remember? That's the thing, a lot of people know Christopher Reeve Superman and animated series Superman, that's it. John Kent being Legion of Superheroes. I think it's stupid that Bendis aged up John Kent purely to make him a part of Legion of Superheroes. Come on, let me do it. There we go. Shut up, dude. I'm trying to make sure you don't get shot. Guys yelling at me. Top five favorite comic movies. Uh, Man of Steel, Dark Knight. Then I guess Iron Man, Deadpool, Spider Man Two. But that's off the top of my head. Not a hundred percent on that. But yeah, off the top of my head, it'd be Man of Steel number one, Dark Knight number two, Iron Man number three, um, Deadpool number four, and Spider Man Two number five. Your I top my head though. Attacked. Infinity War might make you it its way in there. It's hard to say. By rioters. It's over, Batman. Not even you can save Gotham this time. I won't give up. I'll find your crew. Wait here. An officer will come and take you to GCPD. Batman Corvallis is great. You have to read the first two volumes of the story though, because the next one, it, like Corvallis, ends sort of on a cliffhanger. Do you have any faith in episode 9 being passable? Nope. I think it's going to be terrible. I'm one of the few people that hated The Force Awakens more than I hated The Last Jedi. I hated both of them, but I think The Force Awakens was worse. Both were bad, but The Force Awakens was worse. I like City of the Vals, and it was very much just the ending. If you read it on its own, it's obviously not that good, but... As a connection to Court of Owls, it's pretty good. What do you think of Hank Henshaw? Uh, I don't really have a strong opinion. There's no, I don't have anywhere to go. Dang it, I have to. Oh, wait, I have that. Someone killed, mutilated, and her. Body on the was great. I wish she did some comics like that nowadays. Me too. To I'd love to see John Byrne come back. Marv Wolfman's the one the most that, like, I'd love to see him write Deathstroke again. If I could have anyone return to a character, it would be Marv Wolfman on Deathstroke. Please. So uh, Astro's new not through the year. Was really that good? I, it's a slow burn, but I really liked it. It's If you've seen Apocalypse Now, it's literally Apocalypse Now in space. But I liked it. I, re I really enjoyed it. Ad Astro was a good movie. But all depends. I feel like some people may not like it because it's... It's a slow movie, you know, a which I'm generally not the person that cares for slow movies, but I like it. I also saw Apocalypse Now in theaters this year, so that was cool, because they had an event to where they re-released it in IMAX, so that was cool seeing Apocalypse Now in IMAX. Made the Court of Owls, did you want a movie or TV series? Uh... If they could do a really high budget TV series, that'd be cool. That'd be better for most comics, a high budget TV series, I feel like. It could work as a movie, too. I wish Jurgen's back on Superman. Should I sub? Yes, I feel like you should. It's all up to you. Oh, we have this dude to examine. What channel, though? Anything about CW? Yeah. Like, if they could do high quality, like, I'm saying, like, hypothetically, if we were talking about, like, an actuality, movie would be way better, because they couldn't do the budget for, like, the quality I'd like to see a Court of Owls show done at. The Viathan, it's been standard been dis. Art is great from Alex Maleev, though. Cool mama with Red Hood, at least. I'm going to try and identify the body. Do you write a lot of Venom? No. Deformity on Dumbest the comic theater. event ever Looks is? Like uh, Heroes in Crisis. Birth defect. <laughs> the worst. Uh, 
swallowed his wedding ring. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. That too much adult content because HBO loves that true. Gotta have at least like one topless woman in it to be HBO. The victim had a hip I like Cyclops. He's been Scar tissue has his a he's had a bad character assassination as of Alfred, like the past the decade or so Anthony though. Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the body suggests the killer so has Definitely new to Arkham City, just like the show. I think that's a new Batman game. I don't necessarily know if it's in the Arkham series, but yeah, because of the fact that WB Montreal did those teases and Scott Snyder did that tweet and then deleted it, I think that, yeah, a Batman game's coming. Favorite boss fight in any game? Mr. Freeze, boss fight in Arkham City. It's still my favorite boss fight in any game. Uh, I think most boss fights are pretty bad though because they're all gimmicky and that's what was fun about the Mr. Freeze boss fight was there's no gimmick you literally had to use Batman's entire arsenal to take him out it wasn't just like one gimmick like oh dodge this for 30 seconds wait for him to get tired from his attack do this one gimmick and that's it like you didn't have that so that was cool I like that I'll just go around looking for stuff how do you feel about Ekman on X-Men? He's done a great job so far. I hope you can keep this momentum going into the ongoing series. Do you hear what Morrison said about here in Christ's Hall? Everyone grant so much. Yeah, I tweeted it out. How he's talking about that. That was great. Or he's like, in Heroes of Crisis, he said he doesn't know what uh, Will is. But of course he knows what Will is. He uses it every day. It's part of his job. It's like, yep. Just subtly throwing shade at Tom King, like, you idiot. Do you Batman Green Lantern Superman, who do you think has the strongest willpower? Hal Jordan, it's been said that he has the strongest willpower. Like, there's no really debating that. As much as Superman's my favorite, Hal Jordan has the strongest will in the DC Universe. I think if they ever override that, that's stupid. It's Hal Jordan. I think it's cool that it's Hal Jordan as well. That it's not, like, somewhat, like... It is just a guy, you know? Like, he had his stuff, like his dad dying, and he went through the military, and, you know, being in the Air Force. But it's not like Batman, who had, like, this really huge tragedy happen to him, like, determined his life to be this thing. Or Superman, who his whole plan explode. Like, Hal Jordan on the surface isn't that special, so I think it's cool that he is, like, he has the strongest willpower. It'd be easy to make it Superman or someone like that. But to make it Hal Jordan, like, just a guy, I think that's cool. I like that. I think it should stay that way. Oh, snap. There's tanks here? Where's, what, where's the... What the heck? Okay. Is there any way I can get a point of view to where I can shoot into here? Cause that'd be nice if I could. I need to stay within range of the remote control. Yeah, yeah, control. yeah, yeah. I need to stay within range of the Shut remote up. control. Shut up. Okay. Can I get? Let's see. So look in there. Can I get up here with the Batmobile? No, I probably can't. So if I could, you know, Superman wears the jelly. It was the Green Lantern of Krypton. I read some of that. Yeah. I didn't like. I didn't. I haven't read all of it, but I didn't care for Morrison's. Um, what's it called? Morrison's Justice League that much. Like I didn't hate it or anything, but maybe I should get back into it, read some more. I know they've like repented that as well. Can I get up here? No, I can't. So you can jump into that area with a Batmobile. It's really hard to explain. Oh, okay, so there is a way. Okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because they all have guns and there's like those turrets, like it has to be a way. Yeah, I saw the reviews for Batwoman. But the trailer was all I needed to see to know what I'd think of that. It looked terrible. It's on the island directly across from it. Okay. Oh, okay, so you jump there. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So you probably like pull that down or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to like... 
Yeah, I pull this. Okay, thank you, Danny. Yeah, let's maybe get a bit more of a head start. I'm not sure if I'll make it up that. Okay. Hey, your ass is kicked by Bruce Wayne. Ah! I did it. Oh, this guy's still left. Easy peasy. Anything else I need to do here? Nope. All that's done. Wait, wait. There was something I needed. Oh, no. Tight away so much time away for the shrimp. What's beeping? Oh, this. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yeah, what Morrison's doing with Hal right now is really cool. Non-lethal crush. It's actually not. Don't fall for it. So, bleak island. So, I need to find one. So, Founders Island is the one where I need to go. Am I on Founders Island? Which one's Founders Island? I'm on Bleak. Founders is this one. Okay. Let's go over that one. Watchtowers throughout the city. That's where there's more watchtowers. The Superman in The Dark Knight Returns. My friend who tries to defend him by saying that Superman hates being a government puppet. And he has been a puppet in camp for. I, yeah, I hate him in The Dark Knight Returns. But seeing Superman Year One has definitely opened my eyes to how Frank Miller views Superman. He views him as the most privileged individual on the planet and he never had to fight for anything and he's very selfish. That's how he views him. Like, it's Superman Year One has really been eye opening to Frank Miller's view of Superman. Because from Superman Returns, you can tell he didn't really care for him that much, but then you're reading it and you're like, oh, he sees him as the most privileged dude on the planet. Okay. Like, the way Superman carries himself in that book. Not like Superman at all. Did I just hear. Uh, I thought I heard, just heard Man Bat screaming. But Wolverine, who you think would win? They did fight, and Wolverine and uh, Deathstroke won, but we don't know how. So, back in the day. He is screaming somewhere. There was a Teen Titans X Men crossover, and we see them fight, and then, like, a second later, like, it cuts. Well, like, the next page, it cuts. And Deathstroke won, but we don't know how. Is Deathstroke and a bunch of parademons versus the X-Men? Deathstroke won, and he captures them. Don't know how, though. It just cuts, and it's like, and while we were off page, Deathstroke won. It's like, oh, cool. There's Man Bat. Deathstroke was surprised by how fast uh, Wolverine was, though, when they fought. For the two seconds that they fought before it ended. Come here, Man Bat. Spirit Batman iteration. Um, I don't know. Well, Snyder writes my favorite Batman. He's my favorite Batman writer. So if I go with Snyder, but that's not my favorite iteration of like the Bat Family as a whole, because New Fifty Two kind of messed up a lot of the Bat Family. But the way I love what Snyder did with Batman. I've captured Doctor Langstrom and administered the cure. I need you to prep an isolation chamber. I'm bringing him in. I forgot how lame all the man bat stuff was. He literally just tackled him a couple times. Damn tanks did he take out? Great dance. The heck, I gotta go down here. What is this thing taking me? This way, okay. Run over some hobo fire pits. Yeah, most of them are. Season of Infamy has some cool stuff. But the side missions are very... Hush's side mission was the worst. Hush's side mission was terrible. Really just say on Spider-Man? Ah! 
I don't really, I don't feel like paying like 300 bucks for a PS4 just to play one game. And also, I know with the controller, I won't enjoy it as much. I hate playing games with the controller, especially a game like Spider-Man. I would not want to know. play racing games, like Lego games and fighting games. But these type of games, I would not want to play with the controller. I just don't like it. I feel like I'm giving up so much control. <laughs> First time Batman met Man Bat. Yeah, considering it's so late in his career, it is a little weird. Man, he looks so terrifying there. When I think I've seen it all, he's gonna be okay. Physically, yes. <sighs> Where's Francine? Morrison like Where Professor Pig in the game? That's cool. He was handled well in the game. He's dead, Kirk. Oh. Good. Why would you have Batman break the news to him? Have someone else do it. Batman would be the worst to break the news to him. It changed you. You lost. Like, look at this. This isn't good. He's naked, locked up, and Batman just sitting there telling him he killed his wife. You want to create a villain at that point? Oh, I'm much for the PC controls, especially when I'm in a fight. When I'm in a fight and like I'm looking to counter people, I can do anything with my mouse. With like a with a controller, this is how it feels when I'm trying to look to like behind me to see to counter someone. I'm just like eh. I'm behind me. To where with like mouse, I'm like, oh, is there a guy behind me? Oh, is there a guy there? There, there a guy there? There a guy there? It's like, oh, uh, uh, I can look every which way. It's great. With a controller, I'm like, eh. it like takes so long. I remember playing Arkham City on my friend's PS3, being like, how do you play this? He didn't care for killing Zod thing, and we say he liked the movie. I have not heard him talk about comic movies, so he looked at it. Up. DC Black? Do you mean DC Black Label? DC Black Label is a cool concept, but they kind of like pussied out as soon as some bat dong appeared, and they also have turned it just to another imprint for Batman. Which, I mean, Batman's cool and all, but like show some more characters but you know he's their cash cow and the reason he is their cash cow is because he's popular and DC doesn't really take risks with anyone else they're kind of just like bam 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 Why is this guy just running into? Take him out with that. Come on, dude. I'm trying to. These guys. I just want. To... Even though I gotten all the red, there's stuff on my main profile. I still want to interrogate this guy for some reason. Hello, okay. Gentleman's question book, the first non Bat Family Bat book at Lockville. No, it's not the first one. We had Superman year one. That was the first non Batman related one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Video Battle Bend is still coming. It's just, it's taken a while because there's so much to, like, that I have to reread and. It's a lot to recap and talk about. Like it's just, and I want to get it right too. I don't want to rush it. There's more to comic books than movies, but he has comment on a few. That's cool. Marvel vs. DC fighting game. I would want it to be more like Injustice than Capcom. Boys, you don't scare me. This is yeah, it was a rough book. Let's see. Oh, I found one of those. The militia's taken a high position next to Wayne. Ha -ha. Has a lot of concept over execution. It's so he doesn't understand the characters at all, and the pace is Bendis pace. So it moves at it like the story advances like one percent every five issues. Like he'll introduce something as a new story element, and then we won't learn anything new about it for five issues. And then his I hate the way he writes. He makes me hate Lois. I love Lois Lane. But he writes her so terribly, he makes me hate Lois. And then his Bendis speak is awful. It's adults as teenagers. It's the worst thing ever. It's like, it's, 
Bendis. The way for anyone that hasn't read Bendis, the, the way he writes dialogue is like the worst aspects of the MCU. It's like Thor Ragnarok times a thousand in terms of how his dialogue is. It's just all quippy terribleness that is just the worst. Also, a bunch of guys not with guns. Cool. I have not read Ruckus Lois because I just was not very. I've heard good things, but I've been reading Jimmy Olsen, but I. Uh, Rucka kind of went off the deep, and I was like, I don't know how he'll be as Lo a Lois writer, but I heard he's done a great job. So I might check it out. Ugh. But, uh, Fractions, Jimmy Olsen book's been pretty good. That first preview had me worried because it was very much like a Harley Quinn-esque in terms of look how quirky everything is, but it's actually been good. And I like Fraction, like what he did with Hawkeye and what he did with uh, Iron Fist. Strip from the person. Yeah. yeah, I got like everything linked in the description. I got Discord, my Twitter, my Twitch, all that stuff. Check it for Halloween, it's based on the Arkham Knight style. Cool. I've looked at those before, they're not cheap. Take over Metropolis. Yeah, I saw that Luke Fox is looking to be the new Batman and Jonathan Kent's gonna be the new Superman. He might get like aged up again. You did me a favor, Batman. Like Jeff Johns did so much great stuff for DC and like showed them the way in multiple ways. So in one way he did it. I was just actually talking to Russ about this, the guy that runs my comic shop the other day. I was like, DC is like throwing away everything Johns has done. So one thing, he did DC Rebirth, which combined the stuff that we liked from the new 52 and this got rid of the stuff that we didn't and combined it with the old that we loved from DC Comics. Made a nice marriage. Really good. They scrapped all that and just doing whatever they want now. Bendis and Tom King have been destroying it. And then on top of that, Jeff Johns also did, hey, I'm going to make the ba the greatest event book ever with Doomsday Clock. And not only that, but Doomsday Clock's going to be so good, it's going to have no tie-ins. Just the event book. And then we'll fast forward all the other books like when Doomsday Clock ends. That's it. No tie-ins. What does DC do? They do multiple other events with a ton of different tie-ins. Like You're the Villain. You're the Villain has 50 million different tie-ins. Every book ties into You're the Villain. It's like... Jeff John showed you the way, and you're ignoring him. It's like that, you know that meme where it's like Jesus told them the truth. It's like for the, it's like, it's like Jesus told them the truth, and they didn't like. It. What was it? It was they didn't like Jesus for he told them the truth. It's like that's how it is with Jeff Johns right now. They did not like Jeff Johns for he spoke the truth. Where people insert whatever it is. That's what I'm thinking of. That's Jeff Johns. Being a writer with DC was safe under his watch. Yeah, like what he did with Rebirth was so good. Do you read Donnie Crane's Front of Venom? I'm waiting for that first collection to come out, and then I'm gonna read it. I like what he's doing. I liked what he did with Guardians of the Galaxy, though. Too bad Al Ewing's coming, and we're getting a new number one, because Marvel doesn't love anything more than they love new number ones. <sighs> Marvel does a new number one every two seconds. Oh, it freezes up. I'm sitting nice. Oh, here. Ooh. What? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Throw this at you. Ah. Come on, Batman, hit me. Come on. Oh. Come on, no. They're just electrifying everyone. So Come on. I need to take out these dudes. Oh, annoying. No, don't revive. This dude's just hiding in a corner. Future's just saying, oh my gosh, my nose itches. What was in your It's true. They're going to be rebooting Punisher because Matthew Rosenberg's rent, uh, run just ended. Instead of doing, hey, here's issue 17 with a new creative team. Um, and same with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy getting a new number one. Instead of being like, hey, just new creative team, guys. We know you're not babies. You don't need new number ones. Like, do they think comic book fans are retarded and in order to know a new creative team's coming, it has to be a new number one? No. It's just because they know it'll sell a little better if it has a new number one. It's... Ah, uh, it's so stupid. Trying to sleep with that coat. Thanks, Ash. Appreciate it. Oh, God! I'm getting shot! Move! Oh, my gosh.
Okay. I forgot about this turret. No, once, um, like I was saying, once the first collection comes out, I'll read Kate's on Venom. I'm just waiting. I'm, that's a book I'm gonna There's a couple books I'm reading in trade. Like, um, Zarsky's Daredevil, which I just read the first volume of that. Really good. I love it. But it's a book that I like. I'm gonna read in trade. I just like reading it in trade. Oh snap! I got my new That's a lot of I don't care about the money. people. So they don't track That's a lot down. of turrets. You think that means the most nerfed and underrated DC character? Yeah, um, no, because the fans love him. It's just the Dio does it. Where am I going? I guess I could do a blockade thing. No, there is fine. Sir, a GCPD helicopter reported a burning bat symbol on a rooftop in Otisburg. I believe that's what he's displaying his willingness for another challenge. They come out. It's because this way I can read it all at once. I mu if I could read everything in trade, I would. But there's some things I want to keep up with. Daredevil's a character that I love, but like I don't need to keep up with him right as it happens. Like I can wait and read it in trade. Like, Daredevil is a great book. Although, the whole shooting thing, I didn't like. Not that, he's used, that he used Are guns, the fact that he was so job. proficient with guns. I thought that part was stupid. Because just because you can see everything, and you have good reflexes, doesn't mean you'll be a good shot. Like, that doesn't make sense at all. The fact that he was, like, a marksman. That made no sense. Daredevil, who's, like, never fired a gun before, is suddenly, like, a marksman just because he can... Uh-oh. I should have paid better attention. To show me you are worthy. Okay. I'll, we'll retry. I wasn't paying attention, Batman. Gosh. Okay, can't punch this guy. Let me get some momentum. And a baseball bat. Whoa! Trying to stick. That doesn't mean he'll be good with. Wait. Did he ever train shooting guns with stick? I haven't read, uh, what's it called, forever. Man without fear and forever. When did he do that? I don't remember that. I grant it's been years since I've read Man Without Fear. But I didn't remember him doing that. No matter how difficult the test. I just remember at the end of that book when he deflects it like he has a lightsaber. When he just, when he takes a stick and that dude's got the girl hostage and he just deflects it back and he's like, Don't do this and the guy keeps shooting at Daredevil and then he just deflects the bullet back straight in the dude's head. So badass. Made no sense. That was badass. That part was cool. I don't remember him training with guns though. I need to read that. And going into Doomsday Cough, it's more like respectful to screen and watch than I might enjoy like Superman, these characters saying this uh, and that kind of anti superhero thing. So Doomsday Clock's great. Right? It's really so good. It's worth Stay, reading. Like it's Jeff Johns is like the only man for the job that could have done like a sort of sequel to Watchmen. It's like it's a DC event while also being a sequel to Watchmen at the same time. It's so good. Well armed militia fortified the roof of the top court building. You think a new Watchmen TV series looks terrible? Looks terrible. That Watchmen show looks. Besides Jeremy Irons, the show looks terrible. His blows with ballistics are superhuman. Yeah, okay. I thought I. Because I was like, man, I haven't read in forever, but I don't remember him training with guns. But that's the thing. That doesn't mean he'd be good at shooting guns. I still, I still call BS on that. I don't think he'd be good at shooting guns. Help you carry cash, rich boy, I'm your yeah, the Watchmen show course. looks... Jeremy Irons is the only thing that's got me excited about that. Everything else looks terrible. Man, these dudes are all in a very condensed area. Night, oh, this guy the I can take out. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, that could have been bad. <laughs> Come on. Do, do, do. I think we're scared of you now. 
Oh man, there's so many of them. Yes! Ugh. Come here, come here. That dude should have shot me about 50 times. You know, that's kind of the last DC story would be interesting. I was like, oh, you have an DC. That's true. The whole 5G thing of. <sighs> you think you'll do Battlefront 2 stream soon? Probably not. I have not read the Wally West mini series. To play some Spider Man. Three I wish Spider Man remaining. was on PC. They'll be waiting. But it's not. And I'm not going to buy it. Console for it's so I hate that Spider-Man's an exclusive. At least Red Dead's coming to PC next month. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be full on Jonah Hex RPing. <laughs> yeah, I talked about Destroying Titans. I've only seen the first episode of Titans. I'll probably do a video on that once like that season ends. Just a general discussion on that. Dude, dude. Let's see. No, Time me... to take. What have I done? No, okay. So nice. I have two more on Founders Island. One more on Miyagani. Will you be streaming Red Dead? Down Assuming it performs well, yes. Because streaming on like intense games kills my FPS. Like the new Ghost Recon runs fine when I'm not streaming. But if I were to stream, I know it would kill my FPS. So hopefully Red Dead runs good, but. Especially since they delayed it like a year from the console releases. Have you seen Felicia yet? Yeah, it looked cool, but I don't really care. So that deal would be awesome. We could with Legacy Heroes. Sony's like the only one that's still making games though, because like now Microsoft's getting back into it, but this whole generation, Microsoft like made no games. Or Sony like just kept pumping them out. Yet, Man, that crunch is so satisfying. What? I was going for the baseball bat. Ow! Okay, that was just like three unanswered punches. I might die here. This dude's getting again. Parkour. Stop it! So many big dudes. The the environmental takedowns. Damn it! I just tried to do one right there. They're so inconsistent. I'm trying to do it right now. I'm one shot though. There we go. The environmental takedowns are so inconsistent though. Why did it go to punch him? I wasn't even looking at the big guy. Okay. Uh, make sure I don't get hit here or I die. Anyone? No one has picked up the gun. Okay, good. That one dude just chilling over there. The beeping's kind of annoying. I guess I know. I have one hit. Ugh. Oh, here he is. Last guy, come here. Okay. Uh, I'm enjoying Green Lantern by Grant Morrison. It's pretty good. It's insane though. It's like We're Grant here. Morrison peak Tell insanity, Don't but it's good. I'm getting them back. Like it's so weird. <laughs> I shouldn't even it's so like trippy, but it's good. I like it. And Liam Sharp's a great artist. Wore government cutbacks. Apparently Gotham doesn't need firefighters anymore. Until this happens, then they want us here saving lives. At least someone in this place is looking out for us. Thanks. Stay here. An officer will come and take you back to GCPD. Yeah. And this is like his last superhero comic, supposedly. So whenever he's off of Green Lantern, he's done with superhero comics. He'll just do, I guess, indie books or whatever he create or own stuff he wants to do. But he's been doing a great job with Green Lantern. With their season nonsense? Season. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. How they're doing season one, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still like it though. Oh, it is a little weird, shot. but. Not long now. New boss will 
seeing like Liam Sharp, yeah, I see Liam Sharp tweeting about that. How like for season two, I wanted to. It's weird, but yeah, I remember. It hasn't ruined it for me though. I still like it, but yeah, it is really weird. Let's see where are we going? Oh, they're doing the whole Dark Star thing. It's really weird. I can understand why some people won't like it, but I like Morrison's Green Lantern. It doesn't compare to John's Green Lantern at all, don't get me wrong, but it's fun. It's a good book. And Matt was training archery when I got in. Still makes sense, though. Yeah. I don't get that part. Yeah, just continue numbering. Agreed, but comics going to do gimmicks. Always have, always will. Are you a fan of The Walking Dead? Uh, I used to watch the show till season four, and season four sucked, and I quit. Something new number one's every six months. If only. Read Gwenpool Strikes Back? No, I hate Gwenpool. Gwenpool is the worst aspects of, like, the Deadpool, Harley Quinn quirkiness turned up to 11. It's just the worst. Every time I see someone post a panel of it, it's awful. Like, it is terrible. They've been doing gimmicks for, like, basically since the death of Superman, they've been doing gimmicks. Like, ever since they realized, like, they could get the media attention by doing gimmicky things. As much as I like the death of Superman event. Like, after that and how well that sold, they're like, we could do gimmicks and that'll help with sales a little bit and fake how bad some sales are. Yeah. But my entire lifetime, comics have been very gimmicky. Maybe Daniel Way's Deadpool is so good. It is. Daniel Way is peak Deadpool. Too bad not very many other people understand Deadpool. Just flying around. I think I'm about to end the stream. I've been streaming for almost two hours. Fun. Got renewed for less than seasons. Oh my gosh. Gwenpool's like the character no one asked for. Like, no one asked for Gwenpool. No one wanted Gwenpool. Like but yeah, Heather Antos, like, they got a character modeled after Heather Antos and made her quirky, and that's how we, uh... Yeah, Morrison's Green Lantern run is a lot different, but still good. Thoughts on Superman Batman by Joshua Williamson? I love the first issue. Second issue, I don't know what happened. I didn't get it. It, like... I gotta talk to my comic shop about that. I meant to talk to him about it um, when I went there yesterday because the uh, second issue, I'm pretty sure it came out, yeah. It just, it wasn't in my pull list and I didn't have an extra issue, even though I, I know I put it on my pull list. So I had to talk to him about that. I forgot about that. They're generally really good about that. But, yeah, I haven't read the second issue yet. So that, like, because I enjoyed the first issue. It was good, and I was looking forward to the second issue. But, yeah, I haven't read it yet because it, they didn't put it in my poll. I don't know if they made a mistake or whatever. But I, I forgot. I meant to talk about that. Talk to them about that when I went there yesterday. How do you feel about Swagger I don't care. Flash, but I agree. I did. I disagreed with Bats when he was talking crap about Williamson. Williamson has been so solid on Flash, and I've been enjoying Batman Superman. The one issue I've read, I like Williamson. How do you feel about Williamson about Superman? That issue you read, it was good. It was just very much, you know. First issue, setup issue, kind of like showing you what's going on. But I liked it. He did a good job with the little bit we saw of their relationship. You gonna get the Avengers game? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I hope it's good. The gameplay we've seen from it so far looks all right. Thanks, Poncho. Thoughts on Big Just Ben This Young Justice? Have not read it. I hate the idea of what's her name, Jenny Hex, because I'm a huge Jonah Hex fan. And having some descendant of Jonah Hex be like a cowboy in the modern day. <laughs> Why? No. There doesn't need to be anything connected to Jonah Hex. You have just Jonah Hex. You don't need to have... Uh, he's not like Batman where there's the Bat family. You don't need to have Jenny Hex. And then I heard what he's doing with Tim Drake is terrible. I'm not reading it just, but I heard it's awful. Favorite NFL team? The New York Giants. We suck right now, but they're my favorite team. Yeah, they have Rex Oven, not Jonah himself. Yes, it's awful. Bendis is writing Jonah Hex in the newest issue of Batman uh, Universe, though. I picked that up purely because Jonah Hex is in that book. 
hacks the Green Lantern Wing with her mom's laptop. Oh, yeah, I saw um, what's, uh, Poe's Law tweet that. I saw him tweet that. I didn't even know about that. Teen Lantern. Yeah, it's so stupid. The way – I don't know if anyone here – anyone here read the um, the Tomasi Super Sons uh, Maxi series? He did a really good job with having a teen Green Lantern, like a young Green Lantern. What he did was he created to where the Green Lanterns have this program to where they send out, like, partial rings to potential candidates. So, like, hey, you're a little kid now. You're, like, 13 now. But you might get chosen to be a Green Lantern later on. Here's a ring that, like, you can fly with it and you can create, like, little constructs kind of. But that's all you can do. You can't really do anything, like, um... Super powerful. It's just an apprentice ring, basically, to get you ready for, okay, maybe in the future if you're still, like, you know, worthy and you have, you know, the o the ability to overcome great fear, you might get chosen and now you have some experience. I was like, that's a great way to do a young Green Lantern. Like, what Tomasi did there with that young Green Lantern in the Super Sons of Axie series, great job. What Bendis is doing with that girl hacking the Green Lantern, <sighs> ah, so stupid. Tomasi paved the way. Just do what Tomasi did, Bendis. If you want a young Green Lantern, do what Tomasi did. He set it up. That Green Lantern, like, apprenticeship program, so cool. And it makes sense. It doesn't undermine anything with the Green Lanterns. I liked it. Have you seen the new Robin movie? What? You know what I'm probably going to do this weekend? Rewatch Batman Under the Red Hood. Best animated uh, comic book movie. Bendis doesn't read other comics. Very true. Sadly. It just makes me so mad when, like, Bendis has, like, a similar idea to someone else that someone else has already done with way better execution. It's like, just do what Tomasi did. I'll keep the stream on YouTube, even though I generally don't, because it kind of, like, kills your analytics, I think. But I'll keep it up. Make back Bendis, I wish. What do you think of Joker? What? You know, it's Riri 3.0. That's what I've heard. Um, besides her and the newest issue of Superman, which I have not read yet, like... I haven't read the newest issue of Action Comics or Superman, because I, I have them. But I'm like, I don't want to read them. I'm probably going to... I'm going to get rid of them off my pull list very soon here. I'm just reading it to keep up with what's going on with Superman, but it's terrible. I, I'm going to stop, because the book's awful. But I'm still working on that video. What do you think of Bender's Avengers run? Um, his Age of Ultron was terrible. What was it? New Avengers? He had some good stuff in it. I haven't read all of it. I actually have a lot of them in them. That video I did where um, I, like a couple months ago where I did the um, $100 comic poll where I just went to my comic shop, filled up a short box. Uh, that I picked up a lot of when it because they had it to where you could fill up a short box for 60 bucks or a long box for 100 bucks. I did a short box for 60 and then I bought other comics that he made it to 100. Um, but I got a lot of uh Young Avengers there, uh, not Young Avengers, Scarecrow New Avengers, Bendis's is run. So I still need to read some of that. <laughs> He's getting rid of my ultimate, yeah. Bendis's Superman is no good, yeah. Under the Red Hood, I'm it's so good. Would you do polls in the computer tab? You could let yours decide the next video. Maybe? I guess. Maybe if enough people would see it and use it. Terry McGinnis versus Grown Up, Damien, Batman, who won. Besides the TV show, I don't really know much about Terry McGinnis, so. I guess Damien's more skilled, but uh, Terry's more obviously advanced tech, so. From Marvel to destroy DC Comics makes sense. And DC's let him write whatever he wants. Not very. A lot of people are not into Tom King's Batman run ever since uh, the wedding fake out. There are a lot of people that are very Team Tom King, and then the wedding fake out happened, and so many people okay, are okay. not on Team Tom, Tom King anymore. Rides, but I can't be out all night. It's my turn to watch the kids tomorrow. What do you think about Jeffrey Wright as Jim Gordon? I think he's a good actor but I, there's no point in race trading him like there's there's no reason to make commissioner Gordon a different race but they just did it because they can but it's whatever it's not that big of a deal but it's one of those like okay there's no like reason to but you just did it double agent two then apparently vision was good <laughs> he's done some good like sh mini series it seems like when he gets on ongoing that's when it's like nope 
what was the wedding fake out? He had built up for 50 issues that Catwoman and Batman were going to get married, and then on the 50th issue, they didn't actually get married. That was the wedding fake out. To put it in the simplest terms. I think that Batgirl's overrated. I would say overrated. Um, I like her a lot better as Oracle, though, for talking Barbara Gordon. I heard Mr. Miracle was really good till the end. I haven't read. I read the first issue, and that's it. I'm hyped for James Tyne to take over Batman as well. He's doing everything right so far, asking the fans, like getting hyped and everything. You see the bats come? Wedding clickbait, like basically. Yeah, Bendis is literally destroying everything that Jurgens and Tomasi did, you're right. Should I get the Red Hood DLC? Eh, if you want someone to play, <laughs> like, new character play us. Yes, I've played Apex Legends Season 3. New map's pretty cool. Uh, I've been reading Chips Cards Season Daredevil. Yes, I just picked a Volume 1. It's really good. It's a book I'm reading in trade. That guy saw Batman earlier. Guy's looking a little hairy. But, alright, I think I'm going to end the stream here. I've been streaming for almost two hours. It's fun. My voice is getting a little <laughs> talking for two hours straight. But, uh,. Thanks to everyone who showed up. It was fun. I don't know when I'll stream next. I, this is my first YouTube stream in a while. But uh, had a good turnout. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.